Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me, Jessica McGovern, international multi-award winning portrait photographer. And today we're gonna to talk all about how to photograph your dogs, kids, or whatever you want really in front of Christmas fairy or holiday lights. So we've got five minutes, let's put it on the clock and let's get stuck in. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. The bell icon will help you actually give you a notification every single time we release a YouTube video. It's every single Friday at 12 noon UK time, but you can join from anywhere in the world. So, like I said, we're gonna look at how to photograph with holiday lights, and we want them to be big, fluffy circles behind the subject. And to capture that effect, there's a few things that you need to know before you even start. The first thing is the intricacies of depth of field. So that's where you wanna go and begin. And if you haven't already, then please go ahead and check the YouTube video, which we've already done about depth of field, because all of that theory is valuable for this. So the first step is learn about depth of field. The second step is to get your hands on some gorgeous little holiday lights. So we have behind us a Christmas tree, which is one of the pre-lit ones with LED lights already on it. And we also have some string LEDs. The string LEDs are really, really long and you can kind of lay them out however you want. Previously, I've used net lights, so net net Christmas tree lights, which are also used on Windows too. And those are really easy to just string over a backdrop stand and have set up. So you wanna make sure you've got some lights and those lights wanna be right at the back of your set. Whatever you're setting up to shoot, they need to be right, right, right at the back. And that's important for your distances. So that's step number two. Step number three is all about where you're going to position your subject and whether you're going to use artificial or natural light to photograph them in. The balance between the two is really, really important. For me, I'm gonna use a 200 watt Pika 200 Pro, which gives me a good amount of power, but not too much power. My 600 watt strobe is a massive overkill for this kind of a shot. So you're not really gonna need anything super powerful. You do, however, if you need, if you blah, 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 you do, however, if you want to shoot with natural light, you need to make sure that your front side of your set is lit quite well. So I would have a window behind my back as a photographer, casting light in onto the subject that's at your end of the area. And then at the far end of the area, have that as dark as possible with just the holiday lights lit up. And that will give you as best as possible chance of having those big, bright, fluffy circles in the back of your shot. The distance is another important thing. I think we're on like step four by now. So the distance and finding that distance is tricky. I'm really fortunate to have my own studio space, which gives me eight meters front to back to be able to work with. And that's what I'm working with today for these shots. But you might not have a studio space. I haven't had one for 10 years. And so to do this kind of a shot, I either hired a space that was long enough to be able to do it, or I actually shot through doorways. So through two rooms or more, depending on the configuration of your living space, have two rooms with a doorway and you're gonna be shooting through the doorway to be able to have your, your holiday lights right at the back wall at one side and you as far away as possible to the other end. That allows you to use something like a 70 to 200 lens or an equivalent longer lens, which gives you much more compression, makes those circles big and fluffy and makes the shot look gorgeous. So placement of your subject in that scene needs to be towards your end of it as well to operate with the depth of field. In terms of the balance, if you're using flash, so artificial light and not natural light, if you're using your flash, you want it just to give you just enough power to light your subject out of the front of the frame, but not too much power that your settings end up being studio settings, because if you end up at that point, you don't be able to see your LEDs at all. They're just gonna be way too dim, they're not even gonna exist. So make sure that you're kind of operating under natural light conditions, and if needed, pop that extra little bit of flash down the front. Finally, if you're working with animals, as always, make sure that if you're using flash, desensitize them to flash. I'll link a video to that above. And if you're working with your animals or with children, make sure they get lots and lots of rewards for doing the right thing. Don't forget to reward them for the sake of taking the picture. So always make sure that they get more rewards than you get pictures and you'll end up with a happy subject looking awesome in the pictures with super attention. And then all that's left for you to do is compose the shot nicely and take that holiday. Day photo. 
And that's pretty much it in terms of photographing holiday lights with your subjects, however you want to shoot them. It is really that simple. Just put your theory into practice along with your technical know-how and you can't really go far wrong. So I'm going to take some shots, show you some at the end, and hopefully you guys will shoot better shots than me. Show me them over on Instagram. I'll see you guys soon. If this has been helpful, let me know. Pop it down in the comments. And I'll see you next week for another 5-Minute Friday.